The accusation is made that China is about to invade Taiwan. That Xi Jinping wants to do it for his legacy. This will not explain why in 2015, in Singapore, Xi Jinping, two years after he became president, met Ma Ying-jiu, the president of Taiwan in Singapore, as an equal. It was never done before. It was unprecedented. And it was done at great risk to himself. They had dinner at the Shangri-La Hotel. I was in the quad group at the time, so I asked, who paid for the bill? I was told, 50-50, down to the last cent, 50-50. Xi Jinping, of course, brought his 52% Mao Tai from Guizhou. Ma ying not to be outdone, brought his 52% Jingmen Kao Liang. Both very good liquors and very warm words exchanged. Now, Xi Jinping was not doing it for Ma ying because Ma ying was stepping down. He was doing it for Tsai Ing-wen, whom everybody knew would be the next president. I call on Tsai Ing-wen after she was elected, before she was installed. And she grumbled that the mainland was not forthcoming. I said, but Xi Jinping has just opened a road for you. It's not a super highway, but it's a pretty good road. She kept quiet. She knew what I meant. But she would not take that road because even though she became president on the Constitution of the Republic of China, her own party constitution of the DPP, the first article says, our mission is to establish an independent republic of Taiwan. So when Western powers lightly encourage the DPP to flirt with independence, you are touching a life wire, and it will have consequences. So while I do not believe that China wants to invade Taiwan lightly, I believe that China will move if they are convinced that Taiwan has embarked on the road to independence. China can abjure the use of force. Any more than Madrid can abjure the use of force if Catalonia were to declare independence unilaterally. Any more than London can abjure the use of force if Scotland were to declare independence unilaterally, or even Northern Ireland. But because you do not abjure the use of force, so we can be polite to one another and negotiate peaceful outcomes. But the mood in the Western media, partly deliberate, partly reflecting the mores of the time, is to paint the picture of China, which is very dramatic and very black, and is leading to wrong decisions being taken in Europe. And yet the decisions being taken in Europe will have huge consequences for the world, and of course, for Europe itself. 现在起跟我一起放心交给KS Royal Face 皇家颜值逆时奇迹系列 KS Royal Face 皇家颜值逆时奇迹系列 它添加5种EGF 专门防止肌肤老化 强化皮肤修复增加肌肤弹性水嫩轻松抚平皱纹换回青春自信 KS Royal Face 皇家颜值逆时奇迹